The salivary glands of insects are required for transmitting many human diseases, so a better understanding of salivary gland biology should help us add to existing strategies for disease prevention. This technique will allow us to quickly ask if mutations in the candidate regulators affect the morphology of the mosquito larval salivary glands and potentially affect the transmission of malarial parasites. The first few times you work with the mosquito larvae, they are challenging the grasp as they move quickly. The more you practice, the better you get. Demonstrating the procedure will be Marisol Lucetti, an undergraduate research assistant from my laboratory. To start the experiment, place a putty plate on the stage of a dissecting microscope and transfer 10 mosquito L4 larvae onto the putty plate. Then place a drop of the dissection solution onto the putty plate, separate from the larvae. Use forceps to place one L4 larva into the dissection solution drop of 25% ethanol. By holding a number 5 forceps in each hand, grasp the larva with forceps just below the head with the dominant hand and grip the head of the larva with the non-dominant hand. Then gently pull the head with minimal constant force to detach from the rest of the body while the glands remain attached to the head. After discarding the body portion of the larva carcass, collect the head or salivary glands into 1 ml of PBS in a 1.5 ml microcentrifuge tube and wait for the salivary glands to sink to the bottom of the buffer.